is our sun, a massive UFO stargate. Well, I'll leave a link below for you for this article and you'll see a wonderful video by Nassim Haramein explaining what they found as far as uh, anthropology, archaeology. Now, NASA's stereo spacecraft monitoring the sun began registering huge spherical UFOs in the vicinity of the sun around January 18, 2010. And according to one observer, the UFOs appear to be moving as they are in different positions on many of the NASA stereo photos and our huge possibility, at least the size of Earth, that's how big they are. If the UFOs were planets or some type of huge asteroid comets, they would already have been pulled into the sun by the strong gravity the sun produces, as in the case of the recent comets plunging into the sun. Dr. Joe German, NASA stereo project scientist states, the giant solar UFOs are compression artifacts and moreover, he states, the central data recorder at DSN that stores all the playback data from all the missions DSN supports failed on January 18, 2010, the date the solar UFO wave began, thus accounting for the images of giant UFOs. In a quantum physics solution to the mystery of the giant U solar UFOs, physicist Nassim Haramein, one of my very beloved scientists, states in a videotaped analysis below that Earth-sized UFOs are in fact giant extraterrestrial or interdimensional spacecraft which are accessing our solar system using the sun as a black hole singularity or what we would call a stargate. Nassim Haramein contends that NASA stereo data of giant solar UFOs prove that extraterrestrial civilizations access our solar system via a stargate on the sun when used in large Earth-sized vehicle spacecraft. And we have figures from uh, photographic evidence NASA explaining, stereo ahead. And uh, figure A sets out NASA stereo image of sun January 23rd, 2010. Figure B and figure C setting out NASA stereo images of the sun, which Mike Bird, director of Exopolitics Canada, states he was able to download from the NASA stereo website. From the NASA site before they were replaced. And the last one, figure C, has five spheres at three o'clock and at 10 to 11 o'clock and a pair at two o'clock. Now the video uh, analyzes similar NASA stereo spacecraft images of the sun taken January 21st, 2010 and highlights the UFOs around the sun. It's recommended that readers watch the video to fully get, view the giant UFOs. It's fantastic. You will you will not forget this. So NASA explains the explanation of the giant UFOs around the sun as equipment failure. Dr. Joseph B. German, NASA stereo project scientist, responded to the images of giant UFOs near the sun with the following technical explanation. This is what Dr. German wrote. What you're seeing is the difference between beacon mode near real, near, near real time, heavily compressed, binned, I believe, 215 by 215 or smaller, images and normal playback telemetry images, 2048, 2048 native mode, less heavily but still loosely compressed. On January 18 at 2147 UT, the central data recorder at DSN that stores all the playback data from all the missions DSN supports failed. A backup CDR took over, but apparently started working on data from January 10 instead of just the four previous hours as designed. The last I heard, the DSN engineers don't understand why, but it certainly sounds like a software issue. For some reason, DSN is able to reset a pointer and say, please start processing from this time instead of that time. So we and all the other missions supported by DSN are waiting for our playback data from January 18 and all following days. As soon as we get it and the instrument teams have reformatted the telemetry into scientifically useful formats that allow, for instance, making SETCHI EUVI data into images, we'll post the images and other stereo browse data in the normal places. And no, I don't know why DSN designed such a an inflexible CDR system, 
I suspect they may modify it after this experience. This is what Dr. Joseph B. German wrote. The recipient of Dr. German's letter did not find NASA's explanation credible. Physicist Nassim Haramein says ET UFOs access our solar system through the sun's stargate. Giant Earth-sized UFOs have appeared before around the sun and have been monitoring and recorded, monitored and recorded by NASA stereo spacecraft and the present giant solar UFO wave, which commenced January 18, 2010, is the most recent of a recurring problem, phenomenon. Physicist Nassim Haramein may have successfully explained giant solar UFOs in terms of quantum physics and singularity theory. And in the following videos extract from one of his lectures using the example of a prior giant solar UFO wave recorded by NASA stereo spacecraft, and according to Nassim Haramein, every sun contains a black hole singularity. Advanced extraterrestrial or interdimensional civilizations wishing to access our solar system with large Earth-sized spacecraft can do so through the this, this stargate of our sun. And this is exactly what we were told in the uh, Emerald Tablets written by Thoth the Atlantean. And you'll find a playlist. I've read the Emerald Tablets for you amazing what their technology had they had flight they had interstellar flight they even had interdimensional travel and Thoth explains there that they misused their technology even though they were told as a commandment by the quote-unquote higher divine being that you they were not supposed to and he believed that it was because of their haughtiness and their uh, disregard for humanity with what they were doing with their technology they were using it for the detriment of humanity, that it would be a matter of time before Atlantis would find its demise, and that's exactly what happened. But Thoth says that a lot of Atlanteans knew this, and they left Atlantis and uh, set up new colonies in the rest of the world. First thing they did was, of course, uh, uh, build pyramids and cities. But uh, you'll find the Emerald Tablets playlist on my playlist list. Now, um, advanced extraterrestrials or interdimensional civilizations wishing to access our solar system with large Earth-sized spacecraft can do so through the stargate of our sun. So what are the implications for this 2010 ET disclosure of giant solar UFOs? The January 18, 2010 wave of the giant solar UFOs has profound implications for 2010 extraterrestrial disclosure, assuming original NASA stereo space data are true images. One, NASA cannot be trusted to perform extraterrestrial disclosure. The technical explanation of equipment failure offered by Dr. Joe German, NASA stereo project scientist, is implausible. Without just cause, NASA removed images which showed giant solar UFOs from its website. Two, Progressive human science can now explain giant solar UFOs. NASA Haramein's singularity theory offers a plausible science-based explanation of giant solar UFOs, which use the stargate of our sun to access our solar system from interdimensional reality. 3. January 18, 2010, solar UFO wave constitutes a disclosure of their presence by extraterrestrials, by entering our solar system through the sun's stargate and being monitored and recorded by NASA stereo spacecraft, extraterrestrial or interdimensional civilizations have de facto disclosed their presence in spaceships as large as our Earth. Four, Earth-sized solar UFO spaceships accessing the solar system through the stargate of the sun that Earth has subject to the Outer Space Treaty of 1967, Article 2, which provides that Outer space, including the moon and other celestial bodies, is not subject to national appropriation by claim of sovereignty, by means of use or occupation, or by any other means. Number five, Earth-sized solar UFO spaceships accessing the solar system through the stargate of the sun appear to have the capability to render emergency assistance or social political domination of our human population if need be. Such an intervention would, of course, violate a universal law of non-intervention. Uh, this is by Examiner on YouTube and it's on Humans Are Free. Please leave your comments and thank you for your support. I hope you enjoyed Nassim's Haramain video 
on the link here below. Kindly support my Patreon account. The daily posts are five videos daily and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box below.